and welcome back to my stream, and it's Thursday, yay, we made it almost the way, all the way to the week, but I'm not in school anyway, so it doesn't actually really make a difference for me. Hi, I'm Inquisitora, we are back here playing Dragon Age Inquisition, and I have something, uh, I think it's special. Um, I came across this while I was questing around, you know, I decided not to do any storyline stuff, and unless I was streaming it, which is, you know, which is cool. Um, as you can see here, I'm only in my saves. Um, this is the last time that I saved uh, the game, and this is my most recent save, which is as of a couple of hours ago. Um, so I've put a good solid, like, ten hours into the game, getting myself more levels, getting myself some more gear. Um, so I, I look completely different now. Um, <laughs> but I was questing around. And I, um, came across a quest. Da -da 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 -da. The Express. Uh, that's it. And this is it right here. Deep Trouble. I found notes at the, uh, Grand Force Villa of a, a Dwarven cartel, the Carta, who are setting up a Red Larian mining operation in the Hinterlands. Um, and I found the key to Valimar, and now we're gonna go there. I actually went in there already. But I didn't uh, do anything but kill a couple of people. Um, so we're actually going to go back in there because it is actually a legitimate dungeon. And I was like, ooh, I got in there and it was like, it was gorgeous. I was like, oh, okay, no, I totally need to save this for my stream tonight because this is going to be kind of amazing. So that's what I'm doing. And of course, I got a red Templar. It's freaking red Templar, is nonetheless, that's even better. Get myself up. Up high. Up high. Oh, doesn't do me any good if I get up high and take them over back behind the rock. Black wall, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Um, but that being said, this guy does have his back turned to me, so I can shoot him in the back a few times. Um, I am level 9 now. And I last left off, I believe. Was it level 6? Maybe level 7? Um, we're almost level 7, so, when I am level 9, I have done a lot of running around. I have pretty much finished off everything I could get in the Storm Coast so far, with the exception of Blackwall, really. Um, with the exception of finishing off the shards, which I have every intention of going back there and doing, I just actually need to get my butt up a couple more levels and then I'll be okay. Um, but I'm going to take a look at my party as it stands right now. I have, of course, myself, the, uh, the rogue. It's easier to see this way. Myself, a level 9 rogue. Um, Blackwall, who's my Grey Warden. Um, who is my tank and spank guy. He's got some pretty badass armor on that I found, that I crafted. I crafted this one specifically for him. Um, I have Vivienne. Who's got a really nice epic? I say epic because I'm, I'm just taking the I'm taking the wow thing with it. Um, epic staff, and then I've got the iron bowl because honestly, everywhere I've looked, everything I've seen has told me you need to have the iron bowl with you. <laughs> so I have the iron bowl. He's got some pretty banger armor on too. So that's my party as it was before. I think before I had Cassandra, most since replaced Cassandra with. Uh, black wall because I just like him better. Why lie? And I am caffeinated. I'm ready to kick this dormant dungeon in the butt. And there are literally a ton of rams and stuff around here that I'm usually I usually just like like sit back and do this and just one shot them. Um, <laughs> Most of the time, I don't bother. <laughs> they don't attack me. It's just kind of not even a nuisance. It's just kind of there. Pick up all the blood lotus I possibly can. There were a bunch of dudes out here. Pathetic. But this is the instance. Valmar Gate. Uh, and, and you can see why I wanted to save this. Because I, I think this is just... A gorgeous, gorgeous area. I love 
<clears throat> this is my first dungeon. This is the first dungeon I've actually run across. Let's get pictures here so you can take them. Oh, and these constellation things, man, some of these are kind of a pain in the butt. <laughs> I won't do any of these for you unless I actually already know how to solve them. Because most, for the most part, they take me about 10, 15 minutes to do it, so. All right, get the loading screen. Are we good? And here we are. This is Valimar. Um, when I first came in here, I was told that it was a uh, secret path to Deep Roads, or had Deep Roads access. So that's really cool. Wow, I'm gonna really choppy right now. Let's see. Technical difficulties in just a second. And of course it shows a commercial, whatever. Um I'm just gonna go ahead and get some kill in here. Taking out some of these bowmen. Since they're annoying me. Is anybody else here just yet? <clears throat> oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, that's much better. Yeah, there is literally a lot here to explore. So I am, I'm seriously, I'm just going to pick a direction and I'm going to go in it until I can't go any farther. And then I'm going to turn around and go another direction. There are a bunch of dwarves up there, obviously. Um, but there are steps down here. See, it's like, it's whole like, areas back here. You can climb up there. It's just break stone. Always pick up everything I possibly can. But there is a set of stairs down here, and after they um, abuse that uh, assassin that snuck up on us, we're gonna go down these stairs. Stairs, stairs, stairs. There's stairs. Stairs here before. <coughs> Do 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 do. Wants to be <clears throat> Now we're just gonna keep going down until we can't go down any farther. Or until I decide I want to change directions. It's the best part about doing things like this. It's like, there's literally like, no end to the amount of crap. No end to the amount of trouble I can get myself into. So let's just see. see the dead guy. Put some money down here. Okay, so it's ready to go. Like the black wall to come down and be like, oh hey guys, by the way, we're going back up. <laughs> Time to go back up the ladder. And now we'll go back and around into that cave that we saw over there. Anybody who knows anything about me knows that I love doing like dungeon crawls and stuff like that. Um like me and Skyrim and Dwemer Ruins is it's it's just kind of shocking the amount of trouble I would get myself into doing that sort of thing. All right, we're gonna go around back here first before we go up. Oop. I got people I need to be leveled. Yay! Again, my uh, what am I gonna learn you? No revival. Have life ward. I will teach you. I'll teach you that. And iron ball. Let me go back down your two handed tree. Please, you have to learn how to invent it. Let me do that. Alrighty. Save. <laughs> Save because I should. Just in case. Entertaining at myself into a trouble that I really can't get myself out of a lot. It happens more frequently than I care to admit to. 
sucks I kind of have to be like right on top of stuff to, to, to pick it up, but ooh. Mm -hmm. I'll only be open by some kind of mechanism. Alrighty. I guess we're going back out and going up. See, go as far as you go, and then change direction. Ladders! Finding it very hard to figure out how this bow is being drawn, considering it looks like it's made out of metal. I don't know, it works. I'm hoping to get some, some better equipment out of this. So, stuff myself. Running into things here that I don't want, that I, well, I do want to fight. Ooh, 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 ooh. Black horse. Trading post. Ooh, nice. Awesome. See, this is what I was hoping for. Come in here, get some nice loot. That is going to go great on Vivienne, even though Vivienne and I are kind of eh right now. Noops, noops, noops. We face card and notice. I'm seeing time on that damn door. I don't care what's behind it. I care what's behind it, so I'm gonna find out. Product to move. First off, blah, blah, blah. I use my imagination and knives. I like that. Alrighty, so let's see if there's anything else in here that I need to be aware of. Whatever it is, it is behind that wall. So it is getting ignored for now. Figure out what else is going on around here. Break down. Oh, I need to put those robes on. Uh, those robes are going to be in. Ah, oh, 10. You always get stuff that's like two levels higher than me. It's kind of annoying. Darkspawn. How many can we expect to encounter? Blackwall? It's hard to say. Keep your guard up. Darkspawn. Fighting dark spawn. Oh my goodness, yes. Before we go any farther, we're gonna go back up. We're gonna see if there's anything that we missed up there. Up. Oh, let's go. We have things to do. We need to make sure. We need to make sure that we didn't forget anything up here. Actually, there's no doors we missed. No loot. Hey, door. We missed a door. Gotta be careful with that leaping shot because I have literally knocked myself off of, like, bridges. I mean, it didn't die. It didn't hurt me at all, but, you know, it's just kind of like, oops. Probably should have thought about that before I did this. Did you follow me up here? Need you over here shooting people in the back. Hey! Get you taken care of right there. Apparently, you guys. Okay, apparently, somebody over here trying to get away. A 
Level four. No, I don't care about any other stuff. Interesting. You care about that. I guess I'll be able for me to take. I don't know what I'm going to take, but. Alright. Through the door. Having to direct and dark spawn from the lower levels, you're going to have the manpower and pushing further in. Okay, so that's the barricade bridge. Bashy time! Get that one. Boom! I get out of my way. Ooh, pitch grenade. Nice. I'll have B. <laughs> the only other grenade recipe I have right now are, are jars of, of bees. I can't think of jars of bees without the bees from Cards Against Humanity, so. Alright, looks like that is all that is in here. Does it look like there's anything else that's bash worthy? I a ton of food. This is totally awesome. I right, saw so that door. The door was locked. I've been through there. Alright, save. We're gonna head down and start dealing with the dark spawn. I mean, it's not a Dragon Age game unless you're dealing with the dark spawn somewhere, right? Door here. You don't see me. I don't know what you're talking about. I ain't here. <laughs> I'm like ninja. Weird elfy ninja. This is a card of Lear. I think you can hit me that easily. I am pretty squishy, unfortunately, but that does not make me an easy target. Let's see what we got. Something's missing. Hmm. I wonder. A couple of things missing. I wonder if we're gonna have to look deeper. Hmm. Maybe. And I might be okay with that. <laughs> Spawn outside the gate. Inside the door. And a quest item somewhere in the door. No? I need to find the other one now. Well, at least they were kind enough to put the first one where it was easily accessible. Back off here. Back off even farther. Move it. Oh man, that's nearly as much damage as I was playing. <laughs> that's cool. I got people up there who uh, more than make up for the fact that that doesn't do that really damage. Doors are awfully small. Y'all need to get out of my way. <laughs> Right. 
Dead dwarves, more loot. Dead dwarves, more loot. I got some dark spawn teas out of that, so that's good. Remember, all that stuff that you turn in let eventually add up to combat bonuses. Found this way since there doesn't seem to be... I was going to say, since there doesn't seem to be a whole lot in this direction, then I might have been mistaken. <laughs> Why be looking? Looks like there might be... And down here are some doors. Peace. Elf Snake Vitar. Yeah, the three of you is a rogue, but he's a warrior, so I should do it. Tier 2 schematics, so I can actually start making it. Better stuff. Anything else in this room? That's not gonna stop me. Go down to the end. Opening every door I come across. Oh, it's just the other door to this room. Boo. thing. We got the other gear, but I don't not really quite ready to go back yet. Oh. That's a big dude right there. The dark spawner comes up through here. So let's see this before more join us. Get that high guard on my dudes, man. Seriously, that's like ridiculous right there. This is a place where you don't use jumpy, jumpy, leapy thing. Uh, leaping shot, because I would jump my happy ass like, right off the edge. Okay, but yeah. Should you energize something? Thank you. Thank you very much. You need a potion. You need a potion. I'm going to stop breaking them dead files. You need a potion. How far down does the rabbit hole do? Does this go? Pretty damn far, actually. Oh, circular motion. All right. All the way down, all the way through, all the way around. Killed pretty much everything we found so far. And now we're going to go ahead and open up the back. Must have been abandoned. 
centuries ago, and yet it remains relatively intact. Dwarven architecture certainly is sturdy. Dwarven architecture certainly is sturdy. Let's Sure, some high ground for me to get up onto and make this a lot easier to do more damage that way, but it really kind of isn't. So, I'm just hoping to get this guy down before he puts up any more of a guard, although I have a feeling he will be here in a second. Maybe not. I need to stop screwing around there, my friend. All right. Might have to back and refresh, refresh my potions here. It took uh, quite a bit out of me right there. Ooh. Too, so that's good. Got him doing the whole sword and board thing. You know, honestly, I should probably make some tanky stuff. I might have to respect him. We'll see. I'm just have him go back to the sword and board thing. Engine slash. So, inventory one is still under attack, which means that guy still lives up here. Wherever that dude is. That random that random dude who's just like hanging out behind this freaking platform doing whatever he wants. There we go. And a mosaic piece. Ooh, nice. Oh, Varric only. We'll use Varric. Ooh. Don't need two rogues in a party, need two warriors. Just two warriors is just like, what? It's just like, need all that tank damage. Do 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 do. Open these ones. Other one over here? Nope, just one. Dave.
Alright, so let's see, where are we at? We're just back in the cavern. We're just back at the beginning, basically. More Drake's down has managed to somehow pop up. <laughs> And now we'll go back and we make sure we got everything. I always make sure I take my time with as much of this stuff as I possibly can to make sure that I always get everything that I could possibly get. Oops, see? See? This is why I check. It's like I forget things, and I don't want to forget things. Requirement level 13 now. I mean, come on. Come on. I'm only level 9 here, folks, and I'm not even a warrior. Looks like we're actually done with that little quest. I'm actually kind of surprised that this wasn't as big as I thought. Well, it wasn't as big as I was hoping it would be. Hmm. That's fine, that just means I get to advance the storyline now. But at first, I have to actually get out of here. <laughs> it's kind of shocking. Like I said, I heard that it was, I heard mention that it was a path to the deep roads, and I assumed that it was going to be, well, deep. And it kind of wasn't. It's actually kind of short, and it's kind of upsetting. I mean, you could probably just jump all the way down there and die, but I kind of wish there were options for me to like get around. Like, I'd love to get up there. I'd love to get down here a little bit farther. Just have to make sense. I picked that up. Alright, I mean, it's like, holy crap. I mean, it's they gave it. They gave the place the perception of, of depth, which is you know phenomenal. I mean, you know, there's stuff over here. I mean, I've gotten chance to get over there yet. I don't know if I can either. Let's see. The ladder. I think I just can get over there. Uh... Hmm. Well, I hope I can uh, encounter a lot of big places. I was kind of hoping they're all bigger than this. That's fine. We'll just go advance the storyline. Um, I picked the mages, so uh, I went through that whole uh, eye widening situation. Um, because <laughs> it was just kind of like, what? <laughs> like they they were playing with things I wasn't exactly expecting. <laughs> And seeing people I wasn't expecting to see ever again, either, so. But it's good. I mean, I like that they, they bring that stuff kind of back. It, lets you, it gives you an idea of the timeline. Um, that these people are still alive. And how long it's been since the blight. And so on and so forth. They're just going to go ahead and travel back to Haven real quick. Okay, yeah. Let me go back to here real quick. Okay. And then, of course, long loading screen for some reason. It's a, when I'm not streaming, they're like this. There it goes. When I'm streaming, it's like. Yeah, I know, right? It's like I got lost repeatedly while I was doing the mage thing. It's like, wait, I've been here. And everything looked it's like you go down. It's like you go down, you go down like separate hallways, and you're like, you just get all twisted and turn around. You're like, wait, 
and you get to that same room. It's got like the two doors on one side, on one door here, one door here, one door behind you, and like you're like you're like, I've been here. Where am I going? This this doesn't make sense. <laughs> All right, let's go. Figure out what cause. Uh, figure out what's going on next. Uh, now that people are freaking out that I have the mages, and they're like, oh, well, you're not going to put any restrictions on them? But, like, don't you think I have bigger things to worry about? Like, I didn't go after the Templars, because let's face it, they're acting like jerks. And I was like, well, pfft. the mages are at least going to try to help. They were going to try to be helpful. Do you need any of course, the guy did kind of try to destroy me. I can't wait to get to some of these places. I mean, I know I'm like, I'm like 17 hours into the game and I, like, not, I've barely even scratched the surface of, of the stuff there is to do in this game. And it's just exciting. I like that. Yep, in your heart. Here we go. It's 11 and level 9. Good enough, right? Let's go. The best of the mages are ready, Harold. Be certain you are prepared for the assault on the breach. We cannot know how you will be affected. Yeah, I'll be fine. <laughs> no, I don't want to take Sarah with me. Do, 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 do. Alrighty, let's go. Because <laughs> it's never that simple in Dragon Age. It's never that simple. <laughs> Solus confirms the heavens are scarred but calm. The breach is sealed. We've reports of lingering rifts, and many questions remain. But this was a victory. Word of your heroism has spread. We don't know what caused this. We can't rest easy. I agree. One success does not guarantee peace. The immediate danger is gone. For some, so is the necessity of this alliance. We must be wary. The Inquisition will need new focus. Forces approaching! To arms! 
He told you too easy. We must get to the gates. What threat could the ground hold? You've already conquered the sky. So, celebratory drinks are on hold. Yep, let's go. Cullen? One watch guard reporting. It's a massive force, the bulk over the mountain. Under what banner? None. None? Come in unless you open. Who's this? Ah. I'm Cole. I came to warn you, to help. People are coming to hurt you. You probably already know. What is this? What's going on? The Templars come to kill you. Templars? Is this the Order's response to our talks with the Mages, attacking blindly? The Red Templars went to the Elder One. You know him, he knows you. You took his Mages. There. But this Elder One... Who's this zinch-looking dude here? Give me a plan. Anything. Haven is no fortress. If we are to withstand this monster, we must control the battle. Get out there and hit that force. Use everything you can. Mages! You! You have sanctioned to engage them! That is Samson! He will not make it easy! Inquisition! With the Herald! For your life! For all of us! This is interesting. All right, let's try to keep everything away from me.
pretty. We got red Templars, uh, horrors that look like they have, well, frankly, red Lyrium growing out of their skin. And trebuchets, because trebuchets are awesome! Alright, let's get this thing firing. <laughs> Come on, don't I have bigger guys to handle this sort of thing for me? down the mountain on somebody. Hmm. See how they like them apples. I don't like them apples. That was definitely a dragon. Oh, that's just messed up. Everyone to the gates. You take a potion. All right, let's go. Supposed to get that door unobstructed. Move 
Move it! Move it! <laughs> we need everyone back to the Chantry. It's the only building that might hold against that beast. At this point, just make them work for it. Come on, we have to help. All right, let's go back to the Chantry. Now all suddenly it makes sense why this is here. <laughs> in here. Nope. Out of my way.
We've done all we can. Into the Chantry. Tried to stop a Templar. The blade went deep. He's going to die. What a charming boy. Harold, our position is not good. That dragon stole back any time you might have earned us. I've seen an archdemon. I was in the Fade, but it looked like that. I don't care what it looks like. It's cut a path for that army. They'll kill everyone in Haven. The Elder One Village? He only wants the Herald. If you know why he wants me, just say it. I don't. He's too loud. It hurts to hear him. He wants to kill you. No one else matters, but he'll crush them. Kill them anyway. I don't like him. You don't like... <sighs> Herald. There are no tactics to make this survivable. The only thing that slowed them was the avalanche. We could turn the remaining trebuchets, cause one last slide. We're overrun. To hit the enemy, we'd bury Haven. We're dying, but we can decide how. Many don't get that choice. Yes, that. Chancellor Roderick can help. He wants to say it before he dies. There is a path. You wouldn't know it. Unless you've made the summer pilgrimage, as I have. The people can escape. She must have shown me. Andraste must have shown me so I could t tell you. What are you on about, Roderick? It was whim that I walked the path. I did not mean to start. It was overgrown. Now, with so many in the Conclave dead, to be the only one who remembers. I don't know, Harold. If this simple memory can save us, this could be more than mere accident. You could be more. What about it, Cullen? Will it work? Possibly, if he shows us the path. But what of your escape? Perhaps you will surprise it. Find a way. Inquisition, follow Chancellor Roderick through the Chantry. Move! Herald, if you are meant for this, if the Inquisition is meant for this, I pray for you. They'll load the trebuchets. Keep the Elder One's attention until we're above the tree line. If we are to have a chance, if you are to have a chance, let that thing hear you. you know what that sounds like to me? Sounds like it's time to go mess up a dragon. I hope this plan of yours works. Let's go. Get to the television. Fight your way past literally dozens of dudes. <sighs> Ain't no thing. Now, 
I love explosive shot. Like, I kind of love it a lot. Oh, jeez. Look at that. It's like turning him... Oh, turn him into a horror. And twisting. Not what I was expecting, but can't say I'm surprised for some reason. This is intense right here. Hold on. Gotta pause the intenseness to save the game because if we don't save the game, it's kind of pointless to have gotten this far. Hold on. <laughs> Push it up. I see potion over here. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh boy. <laughs> this is one of those things where it's like you kind of hope that things aren't going to come out of nowhere, but you're pretty sure things are going to come out. You're gonna do stuff like that. And I hope your minions are strong enough to handle this sort of thing. Yeah, I didn't think it was gonna be that easy. <laughs> like, nope, nope, nope. I'm not here, I don't know what you're talking about. I need to get some place up high. Do more damage up there. Here we go. Perfect. Hello, I see you there, lurker. <laughs> I don't know if you appreciate me calling you out, but I am. Hi. <laughs> no, I'm not here. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop. Stop acting like you know me. You don't know me. You ain't here. You don't know me. Do, do, do. All right. I need you guys to handle that so that I can finish cranking this thing, hopefully. <laughs> like, yes, level 10. Woohoo! That doesn't actually mean anything because I don't have anything I can wear. Um, it's level 10. <sighs> I get to a certain spot and it's like, more coming! I'm like, I kind of saw that. Yeah, I'll see. Nope. Oh, these red Templar knights are really gonna get on my last nerve here. Nope. <laughs> I 
love that ability. I'm like, nope, you're not here, you don't see me, I don't know what you're talking about. Don't know what you're talking about, I'm not here. <laughs> like, whoa. See, this is why I love having the Iron Bull, because it's just like, he just takes all this, and like, you know, what is it? Uh, maybe, and we, we are going to have to have words after after this is all said and done. Why are you letting yourself get hit? You crazy, crazy woman. Keep this crap off my back, I'll oh, see. <sighs> you just can't ever just be easy. Keep it off me. I can do this! <laughs> Woman! <laughs> you and I are gonna have the problem. <laughs> oh, that's that's an issue. That's a problem. That's a big problem. Vivian, what are you doing? Vivian. You need to stop doing dumb things. It's like, holy crap. He got his guard down, finally. Like, add <laughs> many whelps. Left side, handle it. Haha, ha, you got froze. Haha, ha, you need a person. Blackwall, you're just gonna have to survive a little while longer without one. I have I have potions. It's not that I don't have potions, it's just I want him to wait. Okay, now you can have a potion. <laughs> it's like, okay, now you, de now you deserve a potion. Should probably, like, spend my experience, huh? Nah. I should do that now. <laughs> While I'm thinking about it. <laughs> can I not win that? Oh, I can't do this yet. I thought I should have figured out those kids, but... You know, it's worth, it's worth a shot. Alright. Come on. We're almost there. Almost there. Game. Game. So close. Nothing shot up yet, that's who. This might be the last one. That's good. Come on. Oh, stir. Oh, stir. Oh, stir. Yes! Oh. Move! Now! Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that was probably the most ungraceful thing I've ever seen. What's up, Zinch looking dude? Yes. I'd scare you! I kinda am scared of you, but. Pretender, you toy with forces beyond your ken no more. What are you? Why are you doing this? Mortals beg for truth they cannot have. It is beyond what you are, what I was. Know me. Know what you he pretended to be. Exalt the Elder One. The 
will that is Carithias. You will nail. Why are you here? You haven't even asked for anything. I ask for nothing, because it is not in your power to give. But that will not stop me. I am here for the anchor. The process of removing it begins now. It is your fault, Herald. You interrupted a ritual years in the planning, and instead of dying, you stole its purpose. I do not know how you survived, but what marks you as touched, what you flail and rifts, I crafted to assault the very heavens. Certainty where there is none. For you, the certainty that I would always come for it. I once breached the Fade in the name of another to serve the old gods of the Empire in person. I found only chaos and corruption, dead whispers. For a thousand years I was confused, no more. I have gathered the will to return under no name but my own. To champion withered to winter and correct this blighted world. Beg that I succeed, for I have seen the throne of the gods, and it was empty. The that anchor was is permanent. You have spoilt it with your stumbling. So be it. I will begin again. Find another way to give this world the nation and God it requires. And you, I will not suffer even an unknowing rival. You must die. I don't think so. You expect us to surrender and kneel. We will not. You'll face us all. When we choose! Hmm. And the plot thickens. Now we've seen the antagonist of the game, and we know that he is, well, basically walking around wearing red lyrium. I don't really necessarily know if wearing it is the best description of it. Maybe just... It's it's not he's not wearing it. It's like in him. It's like it's disgusting. It's like his skin is being stretched apart by it. Ugh. But now now we know what's going on. Now we have an idea of what we're up against. And unfortunately, yeah, could be better. Um, could be a lot better. I I, you know, I don't actually think that it could be any worse. <laughs> All right, let us figure out, well, let us spend our experience now that we pretty much have, like, no weapons and, you know, nothing. So, is it easy? So, Alrighty, my mark going, and in some serious pain, probably, because I just fell through the ground. 
Alrighty. Let's see if we do a light jog. I think I can handle this for a little bit. <laughs> More cutscenes. Maybe not. I'm just being really, really hurt. I'm kind of really, really suck in here. Mark of the Rift, a focus based ability. Mark of the Rift causes massive damage that can even kill some enemies instantly. Die. Oh, this is interesting. Some stuff here now. To go to this. We're gonna come down here. Down up here. Down up here. Gonna come here. Alrighty. It's a long shot, it's a leaping shot, it's an explosive shot. Look up here. Alright. Alright. Style. Alright. So, this is the long, apparently, insanely confusing place in the sky hole. Which is great because I always get lost in places like this. It's like, ah, oh, wonderful. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think there's. I didn't think there would be anything around, but it's. You know, it's. It's worth looking for. Let's see here. Oh, wow, holy crap. It's like, where am I? Oh boy, where am I? <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, uh, 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 I gotta get over here. Um, <laughs> alright. Slogging through the cold. Let's see if we find something. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. Ah, you know, just a little, little snow, a little wind, a little dark. It's nothing that anybody can't handle, right? I'm the Herald of Andrassi, you know, I keep telling people I'm not, because, really, I'm an elf. I mean, come on, who, who believes that? Because I don't believe it. Like, uh... Gotta keep moving. It'd be like... If, uh, Dory from Finding Nemo just keeps running, just keep walking. Probably frostbitten at this point, and cold, and I'm obviously cold. Some sign up here, I wonder. Like, I wonder if everybody got out. Did you all get out safely? This is so cool. It's like... I like the fact that it's like you just can't, you don't see where you can't see where you're going. You just you kind of have a general direction. It's like the symbol is over here, just keep on trudging. <laughs> trudging the slow, determined walk of a man who has. I don't know what the quote is, but it was amazing. Ugh. I've seen this walk before, I haven't done this walk before. This is the walk of. Oh, there is like five feet of snow on the ground. This is the walk, but there's like five feet of snow on the ground, and you still have to go to school. So you have to actually go outside in the snow. This is why I love living in Southern California, because I don't have to worry about that anymore. But snow, it's like, today it was a little chilly. It was kind of cloudy, but, um, 
normally it's like Southern California, it's like 70, 75 degrees. Whatever. Who cares? There, oh. Thank the maker. Found me! Yay! Hello! Hey, see you guys lurking, not talking, and lurking. That's cool. You don't have to say anything. I appreciate you coming here anyways. Watch me slog through snow. What would you have me tell them? This is what we asked them to do. We cannot simply ignore this. We must find a way. And who put you in charge? We need a consensus or we have nothing. Please, we must use reason. Without the infrastructure of the Inquisition, we're hobbled. I can't come from nowhere. She didn't say it could. Enough! This is getting us nowhere. Well, we're agreed on that much. Shh. You need rest. I have been at it for hours. They have that luxury thanks to you. The enemy could not follow. And with time to... I know. R.I.P. Haven. <laughs> infighting may threaten as much <gasps> this Corypheus. Do we know where Corypheus and his forces are? We are not sure where it's okay. we are. I'm sure. Which may be why we'll find some place else that we can build and then probably destroy it too. <laughs> or you are believed dead. Or without Haven, we are thought helpless. Or he girls for another attack. I cannot claim to know the mind of that creature, only his effect on us. If they're arguing about what we do next, I need to be there. Another heated voice won't help. Even yours. Perhaps especially yours. Our leaders struggle because of what we survivors witnessed. We saw our defender stand and fall. And now we have seen her return. The more the enemy is beyond us, the more miraculous your actions appear. And the more our trials seem ordained. That is hard to accept, no? What we have been called to endure? What we perhaps must come to believe? I escaped the avalanche. Barely, perhaps, but I didn't die. Of course, and the <laughs> dead cannot return from across the veil. But the people know what they saw. Or perhaps what they needed to see. The Maker works both in the moment and in how it is remembered. Can we truly know the heavens are not with us? Eh? I mean... Let's just, let's just look, at it, look at the big picture here, okay? Lots of really messed up stuff just happened. So, uh... We literally watched our entire infrastructure go flushing around the toilet. So maybe some divine providence could be here, but more likely than not, it's just kind of this ridiculous amount of luck that player characters always seem to have. <laughs> Mother Giselle, I just don't see how what I believe matters. Lies or not, Corypheus is a real physical threat. We can't match that with hope alone. Everybody looks like they just need a big, long, just a tall, stiff drink. A couple Long Island iced teas and make this. A 
God, he's done me less than me. Oh. Can't say I feel bad about that. Not gonna. You didn't have that when I left. <laughs> We need to move this party someplace warmer. To snow. Mm -mm. An army needs more than an enemy. It needs a cause. A word. You just gave me two. Humans have not raised one of our people so high for ages beyond counting. The faith is hard won, Letheline. Worthy of pride, save one detail. The threat Corypheus wields. The orb he carried. It is ours. Corypheus used the orb to open the breach. Unlocking it must have caused the explosion that destroyed the Conclave. We must find out how he survived. And we must prepare for their reaction when they learn the orb is of our people. I'm pretty sure that the reason he survived is because he has literally got red lyrium coming out of every, out of every part of his body, but yeah. Okay. All right. What is it and how do you know about it? Such things were foci. Said to channel power from our gods. Some were dedicated to specific members of our pantheon. All that remains are references in ruins, and faint visions of memory in the fade. Echoes of a dead empire. But however Corypheus came to it, the orb is elven, and with it, he threatens the heart of human faith. Didn't you see? The people trust me implicitly. Faith tends to make martyrs of its champions. Whatever the case, that trust cannot grow in the wilderness. You will need every advantage. I will say no to that. I will say no to this white screen, though, because it's unnecessary. By yeah. <laughs> the Inquisition, Corypheus has changed it. Changed you. Scout to the north. Be their guide. North, not south. Um, wanted to go somewhere warmer, but oh, guess deeper into the mountains we go. There is a place that waits for a force to hold it. There is a place where the Inquisition can build, grow. That is so shiny. It is like a naturally shiny. Now I'm kind of curious to know what the hell I would have discovered if I had chosen the Templars. Ooh. I like castles. I have a feeling I'm going to get lost in it. But I like them anyways. Like, did someone just abandon this castle up here? Who abandoned the castle? Who just abandoned the castle? Well, yeah, I guess they did it in Skyrim, and then it kind of got taken over by the Dawn Guard, so. Makes sense, I guess. Bang. Just the bang. It happens. So. As long as I get my war table back and can actually do stuff again with stuff. Uh, little bit of influence that I have, but whatever. Oh look, they're fighting again.
They arrive daily from every settlement in the region. Skyhold is becoming a pilgrimage. If word has reached these people, it will have reached the Elder One. We have the walls and numbers to put up a fight here, but this threat is far beyond the war we anticipated. But we now know what allowed you to stand against Corypheus. What drew him to you? He came for this, and now it's useless to him, so he wants me dead. That's it. The Anchor has power, but it's not why you're still standing here. Just because I'm stubborn. Your decisions let us heal the sky. Your determination brought us out of Haven. You are the creature's rival because of what you did. And we know it. All of us. The Inquisition requires a leader. The one who has already been leading it. Why are you giving me a sword? What am I supposed to do with this? I just like I have eyebrows. It's creeping me out. That's weird. So weird. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna say no. We'll go with this one. You're offering this to an elf? Are you quite sure you know what you're doing? I would be terrified handing this power to anyone. But I believe it is the only way. They'll follow you. To them, being an elf shows how far you've risen. How it must have been by Andraste's hand. What it means to you, how you lead us, that is for you alone to determine. That is a shiny, shiny sword, though. Can I turn it into a bow, please? I have to. I have to do it this way. I will lead us against Corypheus, and I will be an ambassador. I'm an elf standing for Thedas. The Inquisition is for all. Wherever you lead us. Have our people been told? They have. And soon, the world. Commander, will they follow? Inquisition, will you follow? Will you fight? Will we triumph? Your leader, your herald, your Inquisitor! But I don't use swords! What am I gonna do with this? <sighs> I have this super skinny arm too, for it's sake. Like, it's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, all right with the world. Just being has a clip more. You're getting like 80s music montage music right now? Oh, okay. Whew. Okay. This is where it begins. It began in the courtyard. This is where we turned that promise into action. But what do we do? We know nothing about this Corypheus except that he wanted your mark. Corypheus wants to restore Tevinta. Is this a prelude to war with the Imperium? I get the feeling we're dealing with extremists, not the vanguard of a true invasion. Tevinta is not the Imperium of a thousand years ago. What Corypheus yearns to restore no longer exists. Though they would shed no tears if the South fell to chaos, I'm certain. Could his dragon really be an archdemon? What would that mean? It would mean the beginning of another blight. We've seen no darkspawn other than Corypheus himself. Perhaps it's not an archdemon at all, but something different? Whatever it is, it's dangerous. Commanding such a creature gives Corypheus an advantage we can't ignore. 
Corypheus said he wanted to enter the Black City, that this would make him a god. He is willing to tear this world apart to reach the next. It won't matter if he's wrong. What if he's not wrong? If he finds some other way into the Fade? Then he gains the power he seeks, or unleashes catastrophe on us all. Someone out there must know something about Corypheus. Unless they saw him on the field, most will not believe he even exists. We do have one advantage. We know what Corypheus intends to do next. In that strange future you experienced, Empress Selene had been assassinated. Imagine the chaos her death would cause. With his army. An army he'll bolster with a massive force of demons, or so the future tells us. Corypheus could conquer the entire south of Thedas, god or no god. <sighs> I'd feel better if we knew more about what we were dealing with. I know someone who can help with that. Beric! Everyone acting all inspirational jogged my memory, <laughs> so I, I sent a message to an old friend. He's crossed paths with Corypheus before and may know more about what he's doing. He, he can help. I'm always looking for new allies. Introduce me. Uh, parading around might cause a fuss. It's better for you to meet privately, on the battlements. Trust me, it's complicated. How complicated? Well, the rest of my life is complicated. We stand ready to move on both of these concerns. On your order, Inquisitor. I know one thing. If Varric has brought who I think he has, Cassandra is going to kill him. Oh no. Oh, come on. Oh, tell me this is something good. Alright, guys. That's it for this week. I appreciate you guys coming out here and watching. And a couple of you lurkers that were out there. Um, it's been fun. It's been real. I'll be back on Saturday, 7 o'clock, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, playing WoW, doing heroics. So, healing. Again, yay. Since apparently nobody wants to watch me leveling. Um, so we will see you then. Uh, don't forget, you can find me on Facebook and on Twitter. Go to my Patreon page. Don't forget, I will have this video up on YouTube within the next hour. And I have a healer blog, Angry Healers. Go there. Don't forget, check out my Patreon page. If you like what you see or you want to see me do better, go and, uh, and help me. Because I want to make better stuff for you. I want you to be more interested in this stuff that I do. Okay? So, we'll see you guys on Saturday. Bye.